Okay. Okay, I'm just going to show you what I bought a couple of days ago. I need to unpack this bag. It's mainly just some kitchen gadgets. So I'm going to just aim the camera down here so you can see. Okay, so actually I'll just hold everything up. Okay, so... All right, so I went to um, the Asian discount store. They have a lot of really neat kitchen gadgets and some things that I needed. Um, there's a little strainer that I'm gonna use for like when I make my smoothies. And after I use my food processor to chop up things like mangoes, then I can um, put it in here and strain it, you know, so that the seeds stay in here so they don't end up in my smoothie. <clears throat> and here's a bigger version. I needed one of these anyways. Got this. Um, I got this food chopper. Now, even though I have my little food processor, it's a pain sometimes locking that thing in. So actually, let me take the little, I have to wash all this stuff anyway. So let me just take this paper thing off. <laughs> it slides right out, okay. So it looks like this and oh yeah. Okay, so for example, I would put maybe like a quarter of an onion in here. Oh yeah, it's sharp, see? It would work good for tomatoes, probably really well, and you just press it down like this. And it, I, I, I don't know, I think it was a couple of bucks. I don't know. I don't know how much everything was. Um, vegetable chopper, 425. 425. Yeah, which is really cheap, you know. And this is, um, sharp. Just press it down. You know, this will work really good for black olives because I don't like getting the cutting board out, having to chop those when I want to put them in my salad. So I could put probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight on here for my salad. And they're all chopped up. And oh yeah, and this comes off too. Great. Oh yeah, okay. So it'll be easy to clean. I don't even need that food processor. I mean, this this is actually is easier, but I guess that's better for when you have a whole bunch of stuff. All right, I'll stop complaining. Let's see, and then, what is this? Oh yeah, apple core. For the apple. I've been craving apples lately and I don't like slicing them because of the core. I mean, this is such a standard thing. I don't have one. This is very handy. One of these, uh, it's silicone thing to put over my cup when I have my cup on the kitchen table. And if there's like a, a little, one of those little, what is that, a gnat? You know how in the summer, sometimes when you open the door, they come in? When it, it follows you everywhere. You can't get away. If, it, if there's one, you can't get away. If it'll find you and it'll find your drink, whatever you're drinking. And what I do now is I have a piece of paper, a flat piece of paper that I, after I take a sip of whatever I'm drinking, I put it on top. So I thought I need one of these. So there it is. That bug though, there's one gnat and those things are fast. I cannot catch it. When I'm working and I have my coffee, that thing, I see it circling, it follows me, it's circling. And there, I already know I can't catch it because every time I've tried, it's that quick. So I'm constantly having to put a piece of paper, I have a piece of paper right over there over my glass. Okay. Um, Cute little pink jar with a pink lid. I actually needed a jar because I did that video called um, Stirring the Pot where I made that 
um, homemade pasta sauce, the marinara sauce. And I had to put it in a plastic container because I didn't have a glass container. It's one of those things where I never remember to pick one up. But so I saw this one, with, I, love, I like the pink lid. And I have another jar too. I, I always buy things in twos, I don't know why. This one's just a regular jar. I thought may as well just get a regular one too. So this this will come in handy, like maybe for teriyaki sauce or something. Alrighty, moving on. Um, this is another, I love one of those little teeny strainers. They had a whole bunch, and I think this was like a dollar twenty-five. So I thought I may as well just get that. So I have one of each size now. And I really like this. Now I saw this. It's an index cutting board. Let me move this back. So it's an index cutting board. I love the colors. Let me see how much I paid for this. Index cutting board, $6.25. Okay, so it's a cutting board that has three different tabs. Let me open this. Hopefully I don't have to get up and get the scissors. Oh, oh! I got it. It's tearing on the bottom. Yippee! I didn't want to have to get up. All right, here we go. It looks like an office product, but it's a cutting board. It has three cutting boards. Red. I love the index. And you know, I cut a lot of small things up where I don't like having to wash a cutting board because they're so big and when you start washing it, it's like the soap starts to almost run over. I, I mean, I like the small ones and these are plastic. This way, it's kind of tight. Why is it so tight to put it? Oh, oh, it has these little grooves on the bottom where you slide it into the groove, there we go. Like a puzzle almost. Two, I thought this is really neat. I just can sit on the counter. Isn't that neat? It looks like an office, um, you know, like those, oh, it has a little shapes on the back. It has a shark, another fish. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, it's cute. It's on the back too. And it's, it's like a folder. It looks like a folder, but these are hard plastic cutting boards. And this is the, let me show you the store that I went to. It's um, D-A-I-S-O. I go there a lot because they have so many kitchen things for really, really cheap. And, and they're not like dollar store. I mean, it's, it, they are good quality, it seems like. I purchased a lot of bins there for my um, deep freezer. I also picked up some double zipper storage bags. These were $1.75. Some double zipper sandwich bag. Let me see if those were $1.75. I think the standard price of a lot of stuff, yeah, those are $1.75. And then some of the bigger things like the cutting board was $6.25 and then the vegetable chopper was $4.25. The big stainless steel strainer was $3.25. So, you know, for things like this, stainless steel, yeah, stainless steel, I mean, if you go somewhere else and buy this, you're gonna pay a lot more. So I thought, I don't like to pay a lot for kitchen stuff. And then I also had to stop at um, Home Depot because I needed some vice grips. I've always needed these. I just, one of those things I can't ever remember to pick up. These are Husky locking pliers because I'm working on a project which requires those. And I also, Got a three pack of chisels. This is another handy tool that I always seem to need, but I just don't have. I finally have a set, three different sizes. 
I do a lot of side projects where I need stuff like that. So that's about it. So now I can finally, there's something that I needed to use in here. I think it was at this chopper or one of these strainers, something that I'm gonna be making. And I really like this because this will just, I can slide this like on the counter on the side of the microwave. It doesn't take much space at all. I really like it because I love the tabs. So you could use, oh, that's what it is, duh. So the red one has a drumstick, so you can use a red one to cut chicken. This one has a fish, but also this one has a fish. That is a fish. Yeah, it looks like a green blowfish. And the blue one has like a shark. Yeah, well, a chicken, you think you would have like beef on here. Chicken? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. Fish, vegetables, and chicken. That's what those little pictures are. I think the round one in the middle looks like it could be maybe an onion. Yeah, but these are really neat. So, so that's it. I can't wait to try these things out, especially the chopper. I'm curious to see how well that it works. All right, well, thanks for watching, bye.